USB is interesting and, and a good choice uh, for a number of reasons. One, typically when you connect USB to the DAC, it has two-way communication. So now it can query the DAC and it can say, hey, um, I want to send DSD. Are you capable of handling DSD? And if it says, yep, that's, that's okay, then everything's set up, you're good to go. If you want to send DSD over another means, like coaxial cable or AES-EBU, you can do that. It will have to go in, in as you, what, what do you call it? Uh, well, I've already turned the page. A, a DOP, which is DSD over P, uh, PCM. And nothing wrong with that. All that does is it just breaks up the DSD into little chunks, adds a header and a footer to each of the chunks, and sends it through, tricking the computer to thinking that it's actually PCM when it's DSD. But your server or your whatever you're sending, let's just call it a server, your server cannot know through coaxial inputs whether or not your DAC is capable of handling DOP or DSD. So as long as the program sending it uh, is capable of saying, yeah, okay, or, and you know that your, D, your, your DAC is DSD capable, you're in good shape. It's, it's not a problem. And I would probably choose that method over USB because USB, while it's the easiest and the, you know, the, the least brain damage, typically it's also... I think the worst sounding of all of them. Now we use something called I squared S, which uses in our scenario, it uses an HDMI connector and a cable. And I squared S is, is, is the best way, the most elegant way, and the best sounding way to send communication, digital audio communication. And there, we don't even need D, uh, DOP into a PS Audio DAC, if you have a, 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 you know, something that can send I squared S, like maybe our transport, we send pure DSD over I squared S, and that's the cleanest way to do it. But other than that, you, you're going to need to use DOP, and you can use any one of those formats with the precautions and the, uh, the what I've told you about that are the problems in, in doing that, if that makes sense. So, yeah, you can, you can certainly send it over any, you know, any which way. The, the one thing to remember is that servers are computers, and computers don't, can't deal with DSD. And they have to be put into sheep's clothing and sent through as if they were PCM. And with few exceptions, that's pretty much the rule of thumb. Now, a transport, like our transport, well, that's, you know, we, we built all that from scratch. So, yeah, there we can send DSD, no problem. There isn't really a computer involved, so it just goes straight out. But through I squared S, you can have DSD pure. Otherwise, it's going to be DOP, which is not a big deal and not a problem, into your other inputs. Mm -hmm.